on retreat in Nicaragua, Chloe and I were laying in the ocean thinking of ways we could work together for forever. Mm -hmm. And then we put that to rest for a little while. Um, then we were celebrating New Year's Eve together that same year. And on a napkin, I wrote out my goals for the year. And they included things like, I want to do yoga every day, meditate every day, get a dog, something else. And then like I threw in at the end, I want to open up my own yoga studio just for fun. And I didn't really like, I was like, that one's not going to happen, but these other ones are. And it's kind of the opposite of what happened. So the next month, just for fun, I looked at this space and fell in love with it. And the landlord put pressure on me to sign a lease. And I kind of just like closed my eyes and signed because I fell in love with the space. And then I convinced Chloe to do it with me. We kind of did it as we went along. We didn't have a clear plan to begin, but then we started to develop our vision together. And I think leading up to the actual opening, there was a lot of anxiety of like, is anyone going to show up? Like, what are we going to do? How is this actually going to be a real thing? Because both of us had been yoga teachers for a while. We'd always had like movement in our lives. So like the side of the information that we were going to be teaching was like a breeze, no problem. But the side of like, oh wait, this is going to be like a real thing. And we're going to have to like pay bills and all this stuff very soon. Um, so it was a little bit of anticipation of like, how is this actually going to go down? But actually once we opened our doors, it, was all pretty easy. Like we were very lucky to have a nice network of friends who all like pitched in and wanted to get our name out there. And this area in Chinatown didn't have any yoga studios. So there's a lot of young people living around here that were so excited once we opened and they told their networks. And so it was a really organic way that we started to just bring in more people. We are a yoga studio, so we have to kind of operate from that place of like you know we're kind humans that's like the goal is to be like grateful kind gracious and like nice to each other so that's how we have to treat everyone that we work with even if our expectations aren't met um so we kind of say like okay we take a step back why did this situation happen in the first place is it something we didn't communicate properly is it something we could have done better ourselves or and we kind of handle each situation differently but it's hard because we're young and we're working with our friends and sometimes that can be quite difficult to have um conversations about like you know showing up late to class or subbing out a lot and so sometimes it's kind of awkward but I find um, when you are transparent and clear and put up like a boundary of like oh this is what we expect and if you don't meet this then this is what will happen if it's kind of clear like that in the beginning then it takes the emotion out of it so it's not like someone's feelings are hurt because you know the deal that you're making ahead of time so that's what we're really trying to do now as we start to expand and start to train other teachers and hire other teachers is making systems in place where it's like this is how we run things and this is what we expect and this is what we want you to give us and this is what we'll give you so that everything's kind of laid out and we're just clear. We have to run a business and we have to have rules and boundaries, but we're also not mean about it and we never want it to be personal. So we try to limit that so no one's feelings get hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny because it's boundaries are so difficult to relate with others, but I really agree with Chrissy's whole thing on like, if you can be transparent and just like, direct not in like a cruel way but in a more honest fashion like it makes your work so much easier you know in both personal and professional relationships so um like i'm in a new relationship right now i'll just like get personal i'm in a new relationship right now and i in my past relationships actually haven't been as good with like communication and actually like saying my feelings and so this relationship i'm like making it a point and luckily like my partner is very good at talking so it helps a lot for me but of just you know when something comes up even if, if it's small just to like take note of it and like say it out loud so that it doesn't get caught in my head and I don't like 
put it in a you know back shelf area of my mind that could maybe like fester and like cause me more harm later down the line it's like how do you have the tools to like clean yourself up at any given moment you know and to be aware of when you're letting dust settle in certain parts of you you know and that's like a lot of what we do in our physical practice it's like we like to use the metaphor of your body as your house your abode like where you actually live in and so the work of our practice is to like clean up to get to know to understand how the house flows like where you're going how to get there what rooms you go to all the time what rooms you never visit you know and in that same way i feel like you have to sort of be on top of yourself out in the world. Like, where do you always go? Where do you never go? Like, what side of you do you like to show to people? What side of you are you afraid to let loose? And just keeping that more open perspective, even if it's not, you know, no one's perfect and no one's like living the most angelic life, but to recognize your own habits, your own patterns, and then be able to um, at least have a dialogue with them so that you have the opportunity to progress as a person, as a human, like, on this earth. That's, like, I think for us, one of the biggest takeaways from this practice that we've got. And we're really big on um, letting things, sleeping on things, like, not reacting right away, mm -hmm. not being so quick, but like yoga, it's like a long progression, and we find that reacting from an emotional place doesn't give you the result that you want most often. <laughs> so taking time to cool off and to rise up and see big picture, like is this problem really like a big deal or not and how do I handle it the most gracefully? That's like the challenge and the fun of navigating this job. Mm -hmm.